Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to add an opening stock in WebPOS. Moving on to today's topic, we'll see an introduction to opening stock, its entries, upload, carry forward in case of multiple fiscal year and finally, its reporting. So let's move on to the first topic which is an introduction to the opening stock. Firstly, the closing stock of the previous accounting period is posted as the opening stock of the next fiscal year. Secondly, closing stock available starting date of software installation could also be the time of opening stock, where it don't need to be closing stock of the previous accounting period. Let's create two products, one is VAT able or taxable, because it portrays that a 13 percentage of VAT is added to the actual retail price of the item, and another is non-VAT able or non-taxable, because it portrays the actual retail price of the item without adding the VAT. Now let's add our first item. Mark a VAT item for taxable item and save it. Now for the second item. Mark a non-VAT item for non-taxable item and save it. IMS software will allow you to add an opening stock entry through these three methods. Now let's see how to manually add an opening stock of a product in the application. Now go to Transaction, select Inventory Movement, and from that drop down click on Opening Stock Entry. As you can see on the opening stock entry page, where the entry number is auto-generated by IMS software each time you perform an opening stock entry. Here, the entry date is non-editable because opening entries are posted only on a fiscal year starting date. Every time you post an opening stock entry, the voucher date will automatically be saved to starting date of the selected fiscal year. After that select the warehouse in where you want to add the opening stock. Please note that opening stock entry will be done only in a single warehouse at a time. You can write remarks as per your requirement. Simply scan the product barcode and the product which is assigned to that barcode will be displayed here. We have already explained how barcode works in our other video. Now, if you click the description area and press enter, then you will be able to select the items. You can also manually search for the item on the basis of these filters we'll select the item code to search for an item. First, let's select the Dettel which is a VAT product. Now the unit which is set while adding the product will be displayed here. After that, the rate column will show the purchase rate that you entered while adding the product. You can also edit it as per your requirement. Now enter the number of the items that should be added to opening stocks in this quantity column. Let's look into the amount section where the amount will be calculated accordingly to the quantity and the purchase rate that you have entered. If you look in this sales price section then you can enter sales price in two different columns. Similarly, if you look at this sales price WV, then the sales price of the product without VAT will be displayed here, you can also edit it as per your requirement. Sales price column is designed to accept sales price including VAT where a sales price W slash V can be used to enter sales price excluding VAT amount. You will need to enter either sales price or sales price W slash V, because it will convert including VAT rate into excluding VAT rate and vice versa. If that product has a manufactured and expiry date, then you can enter those dates in this field as per your requirement. Click on this icon to add more rows. Now let's add another item that is a non-VAT product. If you look in the sales price and sales price W slash V column then the rate will be same on both sides. You can add many items as per your requirement. If you need to remove a row then simply press this cross icon. Click on the save option or press end on your keyboard to save your opening stock entry. Click on this edit button or press F7 on your keyboard to edit the list of previous opening stock before sales transactions. After clicking on this edit section the previous opening stock entries voucher will show up, select the voucher number and the item which are entered in those vouchers will be displayed. You can edit these columns as per your requirement. Click on this view option or press F4 on your keyboard to view the list of previous opening stock entries. Click on a voucher to view its opening stock details. You won't be able to edit this section during view mode. Click this reset button or press F3 on your keyboard to clear everything that you have entered on the current voucher. Click on this back button to go to the dashboard. Now let's look at how to upload an opening stock entry from the Excel sheet. Simply go to configuration, 
and click on Master Migration. As you can see from the sheet generation, you can download the Excel sheet to upload your items information, in the format that IMS software has provided. Now select the opening stock from this drop down, and click on Download Sample Excel button. A sample Excel sheet will be downloaded to your device, open the sample file and fill the necessary columns as needed. Please note that the item code, name, unit and warehouse must be same when you added the product to the product master. You have to enter the cost price of the product without VAT. And if it is a VAT item, then please enter the selling price including VAT in the MRP column. Batch and barcode will be auto-generated accordingly. Then proceed to the upload sheet, where opening stock is already selected by default. Now, choose your Excel sheet from your device and upload it. After that to view those opening stocks, go to Transaction, select Inventory Movement, and from that drop down click on Opening Stock Entry. Click on the View button or press F4 on your keyboard, and select the voucher number to view the opening stock entry that you have uploaded through the Excel sheet. Now let's see how to import opening stock from the previous fiscal year in the application. Simply go to the opening stock entry, and press the control button on your keyboard. After that click on the opening from previous fiscal year button, from that you can import the closing transaction of the previous fiscal year. Select the division, from where you want those transactions to be imported, if that branch has multiple warehouses, the transaction will be imported from all of those warehouses and click on save. Now to view that previous fiscal year transaction click on the view carry forward voucher button here, and select the first voucher, this is the transaction of the previous fiscal year. You can also view the report of this opening stock entry. Simply go to report, click on inventory report, and from the drop down select an opening stock report. After that, click on run to view the opening stock report. You can also view reports from the Stock Summary Report. Simply go to Report, click on Inventory Report, and from the drop-down select Stock Summary Report. Select the date range, and click on Run, to view your Stock Summary Report. We sincerely hope that watching this video helped you understand how to add opening stock entries to the application. If you have any questions you can always reach out to us through IMS support.